Autumn is driving from San Diego to San Francisco, a distance of 500 miles. The x-axis on the graph below shows the time and hours since Autumn left San Diego. The y-axis represents the distance she has left to drive. And therefore, for every ordered pair in the form of x comma y, again, the x-coordinate represents the time and hours since Autumn left San Diego and Y represents the distance she has left to drive in miles. We're first asked to identify the X and Y intercepts of the graph, where the X intercept is the same as a horizontal intercept, which is the point where the graph touches or crosses the horizontal or X axis, which would be this point here, given by the ordered pair seven comma zero. And the Y intercept or vertical intercept is the point where the graph touches or crosses the vertical or y-axis, which is this point, given by the ordered pair zero comma 500. Let's go ahead and record this information on the right. The x-intercept is the ordered pair seven comma zero, and the y-intercept is the ordered pair zero comma 500. Next, we're asked to explain what the x-intercept means for autumn. And again, the x-intercept is the ordered pair seven comma zero, where seven represents the time and hours since Autumn has left San Diego, and the y-coordinate of zero represents the distance left to drive in miles, which means after seven hours, Autumn is zero miles from San Francisco, and therefore she has arrived at her destination. Let's look at our choices. The x-intercept is the speed in miles per hour that she drives. The x-intercept is the number of miles she will have to drive total. Or the third choice is the x-intercept is the number of hours the drive will take from start to finish. And the best choice is the third choice, where again, the x-intercept is the number of hours the drive will take from start to finish, because after seven hours, Autumn has zero miles left to drive, and therefore she's reached her destination. Next, we're asked to explain what the y-intercept means the y-intercept is the ordered pair zero comma 500, which means zero hours after she has left San Diego, she still has 500 miles left to drive. When the time is zero, this is a starting time, and therefore the y-intercept represents the total distance of the trip from San Diego to San Francisco, which we can see is 500 miles. Looking at our choices, the y-intercept is the number of hours the drive will take from start to finish, this was the meaning of the x-intercept. Next, the y-intercept is the number of miles she will have to drive total. Or the third choice, the y-intercept is the speed in miles per hour that she drives. And we know the best choice is the second choice, where the y-intercept is the number of miles she will have to drive total, because this is the number of miles left to drive at time zero, or the starting time. I hope you found this helpful.